What's going on, everybody? Max here with BB, and today for 10 Minutes Max, we are going to be talking about Pepe, meme coins in general, and when I think their next leg is imminent. Before we get into the charts, do me a solid and please like the video and also subscribe if you are new here. Just a quick reminder, we do these 10-minute videos every single day where we deliver you your alpha every single day in under 10 minutes. So here with that Pepe, you know, I... I said this in previous videos and I'll say it again, you know, a lot of people, they look at this and they just go, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid. You know, what if we retrace all of this? And, you know, on the lower time frames, you know, it's certainly choppy, right? It's certainly choppy, but allow me once again to be that calm voice, that calm voice of reason that guides you into this next leg. What I think is, is up, right? So we're going to add on a few more charts here, guys. All right, we got Pepe on the left, and we are going to label it here just so nobody forgets, and we'll make it huge. We'll go Pepe, we'll make it green, we'll put this up top. All right, and we're going to label this one Doge. This is Doge last cycle, guys, and, and for those that are newer here, you know, we're, we're, we're looking to draw some inspiration from, from Doge and SHIB last cycle. Mainly because, you know, how do you prospect what a future meme coin pump will be? Um, well, you kind of have to look left. You have to look at what historically has been possible to potentially prospect out what's going to happen in the future. Now, what you're about to see me do right now is throw on an indicator set that I don't really talk about too much. Not as really a gatekeeping technique, but more so I only use it when we need to. All right. I don't like to lean into some of these, you know, indicators um, unless necessary. And I think now is that time to focus on it. So I have it already set. I'm going to explain what it is a little bit. Um, and then we're going to we're going to talk about it. Here we go. All right. So all three charts have the exact same thing. All right. Let me just adjust these a little bit here. Then we're going to do some TA and analysis and really get into it, guys. So on the left, we have Pepe right now. On the right, we have Doge, uh, basically from, from last cycle in 2021. And we also have SHIB from 2021. Okay. Now, before everybody jumps on me, Pepe's on the one day, Doge is on the two day, SHIB is on the 12 hour. We do not care, nor should you care, about the time frames in which we use to prospect fractals playing out. Okay, I could take a weekly time frame fractal and massage it onto the five minute chart and there would be signal in it. This doge move played out over many months where SHIB played out over many weeks. All right, we shouldn't look at them on the same time frame. There's not any signal in that. But there was signal in recognizing how much quicker the SHIB move happened in 2021 than the doge move a little bit earlier that year. So if you looked at the Doge move and you said, all right, this is probably where we're at with SHIB. What can I expect? I recognize SHIB has played out quicker. You were pretty close to nailing the top, right? Like you you fully understood where you were at. Okay, so the same thing with Pepe. Pepe, from a timing perspective, is playing out more closely to SHIB, but I would say relatively in between Doge and SHIB from a timing perspective, okay? So... When do I think this next move happens? Well, actually, let me take a step back first. Okay, what are we looking at? Up top here, we have Bollinger Bands. Okay, down here in the middle, we have Bollinger Band width. Okay, so when this line is up, that means that the Bollinger Bands are the opposite of squeezed, right? They're very far apart. They're spread. And then, of course, right here, you can see how low this line is. This is when they're very tight. For those that don't know what this is, basically think of it as like an indicator. All right, that when it squeezes and compresses, a big move is brewing. All right, um, there is standard deviations involved in it as well. Um, but just for the purposes of this short video, because I, I can't explain the, the whole thing. I only have 10 minutes. Um, when they squeeze, a big move is coming. When they are far apart, we're losing momentum and we're going to reaccumulate or pause. Okay. And then down below, I have MACD. Now, before you try to fit this on your own chart, you're going to look at, you're going to try to do it and you're going to go, Mine looks all different. Why does yours look different? I can't get it to fit. These are customized versions. Um, this is a custom Bollinger Band. Uh, this is a custom MACD that work on the logarithmic scale. The one that you're finding default on TradingView is linear, but there are some, some custom log ones. You'll have to dig deep for them, but you can find them. Um, so 
where where are we at right now, guys? Well, you know, we had our initial markup, you know, right right here um, for Doge in 2021. You know, we saw something similar here with SHIB, you know, again, you know, squeeze, markup, again, Bollinger Band width moves apart. Um, and then we entered a very tight compression afterwards, okay? So, again, same thing just happened here with Pepe, and now we're starting to squeeze. Um, additionally, our MACD, you know, crossed right up here, um, similarly to what happened with, you know, Doge and SHIB. And here I'll actually just might as well mark those out, right? So MACD crosses. It's a little... It's a little thick. We'll put that in blue. That's fine. So MACD crosses more or less right at the top. And then Doge, you know, something similar, right? It's, it's never perfect, but, you know, MACD cross, MACD cross here on SHIB. And, you know, all of this happened at the exact same time when our Bollinger Bands were starting to come back down to earth. All right. So we'll draw this out. You can see the technical confluence across all of these pairs. Now, the exciting part about this is that the Bollinger Bands are starting to squeeze. We have marked up aggressively on Pepe, just like we did with Doge and SHIB. However, we haven't retraced, right? So the Bollinger Bands are at the same spot that they were over here in February, but were significantly higher, right? So what am I expecting next? Well, I'm, I'm expecting the Bollinger Bands to squeeze at least once more. You know, Doge actually went up to the same level of, of you know, expansion that it did on its first leg up. Um, and when I say first leg, you guys will probably reference some previous videos I've done where I've talked about legs. Ignore the possibility of a third leg right now. That's I'm going to talk about that once this one happens, okay? Because I think that the third leg is coming. But let's focus on this next leg, whether it's the second leg or third leg, all right? And SHIB... You know, it, it didn't quite get up to that same level of, you know, uh, expansion that it did on this move for the Bollinger Band squeeze. But either way, you know, you can see we still moved aggressively off of our floor, you know. So, you know, what I'm looking for right now is for us to do something like this, for this squeeze to continue, not for this long, you know, ignore the timing exactly. But we are seeing the very early stages of, you know, a higher time frame compression and reaccumulation. And by the way, guys, I've gone and I've back tested this, you know, like a lot of times. Okay. <laughs> I've back tested this, this indicator set on Bitcoin and ETH and I mean so many other tickers. And it's it's pretty astounding, right? Like context is key. You got to use it at the right time. But you know, what what am I expecting next? You know, maybe another week, two weeks, you know, of squeeze of chop. I think that this low here is safe. I think if you did drop, you would maybe hit like the bottom Bollinger Band. Um, you know, if you did drop, which would maybe be like, you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 8, 6, 7, maybe, maybe. But there's no guarantees, right? But what, what I do think is more probable is that we see a move like this begin to brew. Like this. All right, wherever it tops out, I don't know. But what's going to happen is that you're going to start to see your MACD curl up just like this, wherever that it's not beautifully drawn, but you get the point. And then you're going to start to see this as they're curling up. Then you see the pop. All right. Now I have some ideas on where it goes. Um, that's for another video. We will address that when we get there. Um, our Discord community does know about where I think that next potential TP spot would be. Um, but for, you know, for YouTube, we will address it one step at a time. We're not going to think too far ahead quite yet. All right. So this is basically, you know, what I'm expecting. Like this is, there's a lot of confluence pointing towards another move brewing very, very soon. And, you know, I wasn't planning on sharing this next bit, but, you know, I, I am for now. I'm, I'm going to do it right now. All right. So let's take a measurement from this bottom to this top. All right. This was 1,148% from the low before the, the parabolic move here on Pepe recently. Now we're going to do the same for Doge, you know, roughly. Uh, I mean, we could just start it right here, right? Like that's pretty close. It's never perfect. 3,600%. Okay. Now let's do SHIB. From this low to this high. 411% on this move. 
And now how about the next move up, right? Was it bigger? Was it smaller? What do we do? Let's go from the low of the reaccumulation to the top. About half as much, roughly. So the first move here on Doge, 3,600%. Then this next leg after the squeeze was 1,680%. How about this one? From the swing low during the squeeze to the next top, 280%. So what have we noticed every single time? Well, I mean, there's only two examples, right? But typically, you know, when you get the squeeze, depending how you measure, if this plays out, it would be a little bit smaller, right? So what does that mean for Pepe? Well, this one went up 10x, you know, or 11, you know, 1,145%. Um, from the low here, from the low of our reaccumulation during the squeeze, maybe it only goes up, you know, Maybe it goes up 800%, or maybe I'm wrong and it, you know, maybe it doubles it. Every cycle, every squeeze, everything is, is different. So 10 minutes max brought to you by BB. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and also subscribing. If you are new here again, we drop these videos every single day. Last but not least, check out the first link in the description below. That will take you to our website where you can sign up for our discord. If you are interested, we do upwards of three hours per day of live private voice calls with the entire team and community where we do uh, private TA that we don't share here on YouTube or on X. We also do Q&A, so you can talk to me whenever you want. Talk to any of the Because Bitcoin team. We have active positions channels where you get to see everything that I am doing in the markets, plus the rest of the Because Bitcoin analysts. Um, and again, it's a absolutely fantastic, hands down the best experience. If you're looking for a trading community in the early innings of this bull market, we are the community for you. We work extremely hard and you will notice it right away. Last but not least, included in that membership coming to you within 45 days is the BB Terminal. This is our new flagship product. It's basically a Bloomberg terminal, but for crypto guys, portfolio tracking, derivatives information, um, high time frame, you know, indicators to help you catch the bottom, um, you know, high time frame moves and also, you know, potentially sell the top. Everything that you need conveniently packaged and bundled into one super computer, one super website. All right. And that's going to be given to all of our Discord members in the next 45 days for no additional cost. So sign up sooner rather than later to get early access to the beta testing team of the BB terminal. And again, thank you guys so much for being here. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care. Thank <music> you.